Okay, this um, final bit is about how the body actually detects those changes. So, there are three bits involved. There are receptors, processors, and effectors. Well, a receptor is just a cell that's going to detect a change, detect a stimuli. Um, a common mistake is for people to call these things nerves, so they talk about the nerves in your skin detecting temperature change, or the nerves in your eye, or the nerves, whatever it may be. Don't. It's receptor cells. That's what we're talking about. These cells that can detect a change um, in the environment or detect stimuli. A processor, which is something that will um, coordinate the response or make sense of that information as it comes in and make the decision on what to do. And the effector, which is going to be what actually makes the change. Now, in the case of external temperature changes, the receptors are in skin. You can detect a temperature change of about half a degree Celsius. The processor is an area of the brain called the hypothalamus. And the effectors, and effectors will either be a muscle or a gland. So in the case of um, temperature control, the muscles might be um, the muscles that control your hair standing up. Um, if you remember the proper term, pillow erection. And in the case of cooling down, the glands could be your sweat glands. The only difference here for the internal temperature, because you can also detect the internal temperature of your body, is that the receptor cells are also in the hypothalamus. Slightly different part of the hypothalamus up to over here, but if your internal temperature was changing, that's where it would be detected. These two we can consider to be exactly the same.